Okay, okay, I'm back again. I have about four minutes. Sorry that this is really fuzzy. I'm not sure why. But this is my timeline. This is one generation, two, three. It goes all the way back up to eight plus generations. This starts with the first generation. First through third. This goes all the way down to sixth through eighth generation. When I click on Native American, it says uh, you most likely had a fourth great grandparent, fifth, sixth, or seventh great grandparent who was 100% Native American. This person was likely born between 1710 and 1800. My grandmother identified as Choctaw. I, I'm not sure you say that, but um, she was either 50% or at least or 100% na Native or what you call Aboriginal American. And um, I think I found her name in the Dawes Rolls. She's listed under Creek, not sure why. But, um, you know, I think it, I, I would like to believe it was my grandmother. It was the only name that was in there. The only name that was her name that was in there. And uh, the name had her birth year. Her name was connected to her, the birth year that she was born in. So I would like to believe that was my grandmother. And Creek and Choctaw um, um, uh, tribes are connected. They're uh, related ethnic groups. So um, maybe somebody in her family was Creek. But um, so I, it goes back. The sixth to eighth generation was Native American. Then before that, it, it was South Asian. And then before that, it was Scandinavian. And before that, it was Southeast Asian. And before that, it was Central to South African. Um, and then before that, it, just, then, I got, then we got mixed up with um, Eastern Europeans, British and Irish people. Well, just basically Irish people because there was I Irish slaves. And so I think that's my ancestry is Irish slaves. And then there's the British and Irish, and then there's the African, which they did take Native Americans to Africa for some time before they brought them back to America. And then they somehow mixed with Africans and, or, you know, Moors are from Africa, so I think maybe I have some more Moorish blood in me. Um, but yeah, that's the, um, that is uh, my timeline. I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. So I really believe that I am Native American. I don't understand how I got 1.0 Native American, that, or I mean, sorry, 0.3 Native American when my grandmother is Native. And so that means my father would have been like half, half or maybe quarter Native or something. And how do I just get 0.3 Native? That doesn't make any sense to me um at all so i think that these dna companies are rigged in some way i basically because of slavery it really messed up our true ancestry so i just go back all the way down to here and say this is basically what i am maybe up to here because the asians were ran out of asia into africa into africa so uh, if you look at the sand bush people they have asiatic features See ya. Oh yeah, I'm good. This is, video is gonna end pretty soon. I thought it was just gonna end, but because I saw it blinking. But yeah, Asiatic people. I mean, African, Afro-Asiatic people were ran out of Asia into Africa, I believe. That's just my theory. Then we ended up becoming Africans, and then I mis mixed with some Europeans, and then they took us to Africa once they took us from America, because we ended up in America too. So. Um, then they took us to America and uh, Europe. Then we came back to America. So that's my theory, and this is my timeline. I think I just think I am aborigin Aboriginal or original, original human. I'm from the original human tribe. <laughs> I don't know. So thank you for watching. Bye.